we're gonna put some diaxu back in the diaxu. Got this wee bull nose in. Apparently, still he knows about it for some rush repairs. I'm like, okay, they're like, yeah, it's in the firewall. It's in the fucking firewall, alright? This thing is a mess, and that is how it's come running. And now it doesn't have a can. And look at the chaff it's blowing out of it. But apparently it blows black smoke because the exhaust manifold gasket's got a hole in it. Wow, man, this is bad. This, this is bad, like bad, bad. Luckily I only have to do the firewall. Which is not the firewall at all, it's the fucking footwell. <sighs> Maybe I'll pop the cap off and try and get it so it actually runs on all six. If it's a cross flow, it should run better than that, fuck. Alright, back in the workshop. Back on the ball has F100. Get out. Um, we're getting serious. I cut the other cab part, so I was going to this part of the firewall there. And then this brace plate here on this one is completely rotted out and had a really poor repair done on it. Same as the bottom of the wiper cowl area there, so I need that part of the brace plate. And then most of this part's pretty good. It needs a bottom putting back on it there. The inner's actually really, really good. Um, so I'm going to take that whole top piece, repair the outer, and then put it into this. Look, like this one's missing the whole bottom out of that. They've cut this. It's had a bunch of shitty repairs along there. Done. Um, and I might, maybe, maybe take that whole piece, because this is, it's got holes there and all around here, but this one don't. It's a good thing I cut it next to the seam because it's still sold here. It's a little surface rusty there. And there's a hole there, but I'm sure all out of the two I can make one. Can I make one out of the two? Oh, I can make one out of the two, I tell ya. So that's the plan. I'm going to start drilling out spot welds now, then. To get that part of the cowl apart. Yep. And then we can start getting that part of the cowl in. While the cow's out, I'll do the firewall as well. Uh, these two holes don't need to be there now. They were for the aftermarket air conditioning. Uh, the owner doesn't want that. So I'll plug them. And I do need that hole because that's for the wiring harness. So I'll just pick a spot to join it and join it, I'm thinking. Yeah, something like that. And obviously I've got to repair the whole top of it because it's a fucking mess, but I need that. So we'll, we'll get it done. Oh, I need the tag as well. This horn, this horn's straight still. So, yeah. Bit of work, but we'll get it. I have, I have like, you know, I'm not workshop supervisor, I have much time as I want to work on, so I'll do that. Hmm, word of warning. Some F100 viewers might want to turn off now. That's one shit bit off. Now they get that shit bit off. <laughs> Fucking cutting through the seam. There's a seam on the back side there, cutting through there, and then I can get in and I'll draw all the spot welds and get the leftovers. Like, look at this. This is fucked down here too. This side doesn't exist. I guess, and that's why they cut this porthole through here to try and fiberglass in there. But <sighs> fucking hell, it's a big job. Comes apart super easy with the saws, all though. Alright, so now to take the inner panel out. I've already cut along here because there wasn't exactly much holding it together. There's a little tag here. Um, so I'm going to cut down this seam here. It's a double seam. It's got an extra funny little piece there. I'll, I'll keep that. So I'll cut down here, down to that corner, and then I can come along and uh, drill all the spot welds, and then I'll get what's left of that off. The rest of the window lip there. Now I've got to drill the spot welds for this. This is a dash support bar. Drill the two spot welds out in that. I might just cheat it and cut it with a sawzall. <laughs> and then um, grind it on the back. I don't know, I haven't worked that far out yet. Yeah, we'll get that out and then I can repair the top of the gearbox tunnel there. 
and then probably take that entire piece out because this bottom corner's gone in it. So I'll take this whole section out, repair the bottom right hand corner on the one I'm going to put in it, and then put that in it. Do the passenger side firewall as well. I'll just see, section it through here somewhere. I don't need to take the whole thing because the bottom's still good here. So I'll just section it where I fucking need it. And then, um, then we'll work on putting that back in. But first things first, let's cut this. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. that off. Right, uh, we're gonna call it there for tonight because uh, it's getting late and I'm hungry. But I've got the firewall piece cut out of this firewall gently as best I could. Um, and we're starting to blend it in. You can see if I can blend that into that corner there. I'm gonna so they've flogged Whatever engine was in this cabin, they've flogged this corner, so there's like a gap there. <laughs> um, that I couldn't really tell until I cut it out, but yeah, it should come up good. And then obviously we've got to replace the entire top of that. And then once I sandblasted this, look at all of the fucking holes in that. Holy. I'm probably going to remove that hump, repair it and put it back on there maybe, or make another one. But not have it, I'll just make like a... What if I cut up like a tomato can and put a flange on it and then weld it on there? Maybe that'll do. Yeah, no one will know. It's only an F100. Um, but yeah, there's not much holding that together anymore. But I need all the heater hose ports and that. These two are going. But it should line up pretty good. But man, there is just like... Obviously this sort of continues along there. It drops down here. That's what's left of that hump there. But I should be able to recreate it. And then I've got to do all across there as well because it's all missing so that should be fun yeah before i weld this in i'll repair the top and then we'll put it back in the blast bay and then uh get all up in there and get all the shit out of there i'm probably gonna have to repair replace this lip as well to weld it to because it's like holy literally holy um gee. You had much fucking metal left in there. This is all bent and fucked here as well. So I'll cut that out of that corner there. Um, yeah, it's all twisted and fucked. So I'll probably just cut that whole, cut that whole section there off of the other cab. Because the middle part there in the other cab, that part there, uh, rusted out. Where are we? Yeah. It's all fucking rusty right there, so oh, well, I can't even take that part because it doesn't exist. It's gone. But I need that bit, so I'll take that bit, <laughs> section it through there, and I'll take that top half off. And I guess I'll just make that lip thing again. It's only flat sheet. It's not hard. It's very fucking annoying. Yeah, we are getting there. It'll be an F100 again eventually. But we'll catch up to you tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, we'll see. But yeah, we'll catch up to you again when I'm working on this thing. Yep. All right, back in the workshop again. This is the day after. I haven't put the pedal box in the fair lane yet. I probably won't get to it today, but maybe we'll do it over the long weekend. We'll see how we go. Um, uh, I did fix the CNC plasma cutter here, which is awesome. It's needed for a little while, uh, which means rush repair panels for the F100 are. Uh, just so easy. Oof, baby. Would you check that out? That is the repair for the top of the fireball panel. So that's gonna go like that. I'm gonna lap join it so you can see where the panel's gonna be there, and then this is where I'm gonna cut it. So lapping it all will just be easier um, than trying to butt weld that. It's gonna be a pain. Lap joining it's gonna be a pain anyway, but. I'll wiggle my way around that. But yeah, and then I've got to 
deal with that. I'll probably um, have yep, stuff. This is painted white because I cut it out of the original cab's roof skin. Uh, cut a couple. <laughs> Just a test, test piece to make sure that it was going to work. Um, those ones look like shit, so I cut a third one and it came out fucking mad. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to hit that with the grinder. And then uh, we'll spot that together. Fuck, I hope this works. Hmm, not a bad first mock up. Yeah, that should be right. Uh, we've got 70 mil there. Yeah, that should be pretty good. I've got to obviously trim a bit of hide out of this sort of pocket and then uh, do something with the repair there. It's mildly annoying. Always has to be on a radius. And then, uh, yeah, I'll have to do something about this whole mess. The core of it's not too bad. I'm thinking of just sectioning it around here and then welding it to a new bit of flat, maybe. I don't know, but if we get the top part repaired, we can go back in there. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll keep struggling, I guess. Old Struggle Street Joe here. And I've got to bend a return on this to, yeah, to meet that. So, there. Where I got the return bent on this end. Yeah, that's pretty good. Most of that's going to get cut away because that's sort of, that'll be an open air here on this corner here. But um, I'll hammer and dolly it into shape once that's in and then the whole panel's in. Yep. Yeah. Fuck. Golly. You know what? No more rush repairs after this. None. I'm, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck. So tired of rush repairs. <sighs> Rattle. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. I'm going to do a bit of, bit of work here because... This cab had been fucked with, so they've flogged in this corner. Um, I need that bolt because that hangs under one of the brake lines. The brake lines use that bolt. There's supposed to be a bolt there. <laughs> I've got to come out of the master and weave along there and down. So I need that bolt. <laughs> that's why it's cut weird, cut like a big triangle around the corner. But uh, that's going to be about what it's going to look like, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. And now I can obviously see what I've got to rebuild, Whoops. rebuild across here. Um, it's all all gone as well. Bye bye. Oh, so I've got to take that little bit of shit off there, but I'll deal with that later. <sighs> Once I replace that side, then all, the only bit I've got a flat part I've got to replace is this mess across here. So um, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'll probably end up rolling that out so I can like blend it because there's like, you see the angle there? So I'll probably roll that out so it matches and then I'll just butt weld that to whatever repair I do up here because it's all, all bad. You see my fingers under there? Yep. yep. That hole actually is supposed to be there, which is weird. Um, that hole isn't. <laughs> it's got aftermarket cruise control. And they just hole sort holes fucking everywhere. Yeah. Oh no, that's the old cap. Did you? What? I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. It's late. I'm going to go on. So, until the next part of the video. Okay, today is Sunday. Saturday. Saturday? Sunday. Sunday. On the long weekend. So. And I'm here in the workshop working on this F100. Holy fuck. Look at that. We've got this side welded in. See, I couldn't cut this side out without that side welded in because then the tunnel's going to move and then there's no guarantee that I'm going to get it all in the same spot. So. The welds are all... I haven't ground any welds back yet. <laughs> yep, and I haven't flashed this edge because I'm probably going to have to replace this whole edge. It's pretty bad. So I just plug welded it where it was there. Um, and left them loose. For now, I just tapped the lip out of the way so I can get the panel in the right spot. 
Uh, obviously, like this top part of the lip here is rooted as well, so I'm probably just going to do a whole new lip on that edge. So that's pretty good. We've got the fan motor thing welded in, and you can see my fuck up there. I uh, put some plug weld holes in there, didn't measure anything, just eyeballed it, and they don't connect it to anything. So now I've got to fill all them holes, which is super fucking annoying. But we're in. We're in. It's pretty solid ish. Had a bit of issues. I've had to change welders. Um, the little Kempi I was using, um, the fellow that owns it, come back and needs it at home, so he took it home. And so I'm running a Unimig 340. Unfortunately, I don't have um, small enough rollers to run the 0.6 wire, so I'm using 1.2, which has proven to be a bit of a pain. I might change to 0.9, but I was able to get that in without too much distortion and blowing too many holes, so that was all right. And so I've just basically <laughs> just spotted this whole thing, like I plug welded those two at the top that actually hit something, and then I've just spotted around the back here to hold that in. And then I um, dollied that lip over, like I was said I was going to. And that's how it was from factory. It was that whole edge was just sort of folded in. So just put the hammer and dolly behind it and just tap it in. Um, this is sort of encroaching on this oval hole a little bit because obviously this disc is a bit bigger, but I'll just come in with the diagram and just open that up if I need to. But now that's welded in. I'm contemplating whether I want to buff the welds off and get it pretty, or do I want to just do like all of the welds in one hit. I kind of want to buff the welds off now so I can see what I've got, and then I'll have to find a lump of copper so I can plug weld all these fucking holes back up because I'm a dumb cunt and just fucking eyeballed it. Silly. Silly mistake. But ah, uh, well, what do you do? And then I'll have to cut out some plugs for them. I'm not going to um, like cut them tight. I'll just sit them on the inside. Either the inside or the outside. I'll just cut like pretty looking discs and then I'll just flash them on in four spots. This one stays. Those two go because they're for the AC. That the AC's not going in anymore. So, And then all these holes... They hold the heater box in, and then they're obviously the heater hoses. So they all stay, but those two go. Yeah. But it's in, it's solid again, and we're getting there. So hmm. I'm trying to come up with a way of attacking this without making a mess of it, because I, I, need, I need that bit there. So where the other side, there was basically nothing left of it anyway, so I pretty much just come in and where all the spot welds were, I just um, hit it with my uh, finger grinder and then just buffed through, so trashed them basically. But I can't do that to this one because I fucking need it. I'm pondering, pondering a, a way of doing it without making it super horrible. I kind of want to take that plate off, <laughs> the one I need that but man there's just so many spot welds in it and like it'd be nice to just put it in as two pieces so i'll put the back panel and then i put the brace plate on but there's fucking 20 spot welds in that plate alone so that ain't happening so i'm i'm, I'm letting it marinate a little bit to try and come up with a way that isn't fucking horrible <laughs> but yeah but at least one side's done so that's good if I can get this side down on the top of the gearbox tunnel done, then I can start putting that whole shebang in. And then it'll look like an F100 again, partially. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Fucking hell. Even this lip. Like, I need this lip, so while this is out, I'll have to fucking repair this too. <sighs> and then it's onto the floors. Never ends. Never ends. But that's alright, and the boss was asking about how I was going with it because it's getting close to his three month deadline, so. That's why I'm here on a long weekend fixing it. But that's fine, we'll get through it. One bite at a time of the apple, they say. Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. I might fire the grinder up and do a bit of buffing. Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Oh, baby. Can blend, I tell ya. Oh, no, it was fucking in there. Hang on to her. Good Lord. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's pretty solid. Sick. Now I can do that side. That's gonna suck. Right, it's been a bit. I've been fucking around and forget to film it as usual because I've got a bit to do and not a lot of time to do it. But we've got this side hacked out. You can see this. You can see where I left that part. And then I just steamed it down there. And then I've been playing with this, cutting all the bits off I don't need, like what's left of the door channel parts and whatnot. Yeah. So she's taking a bit. Fuck, it's a pain in the ass that I've got to do that repair there, but fuck all I can do about it. The other one was worse. <laughs> so. I think I'm going to call it a night there, and then we're going to hit it again tomorrow. Because the fucking back saw, bending over this cart of a thing is an absolute fucking pain. But that's the job, I guess. <sighs> I've still got to clean this lip off where the original cab's gearbox tunnel was. And then I've got to clean <laughs> it also off of fucking here where the old pedal box was and then all the way around here. Hmm. Fucking hell. So... I thought this was rusted off along there, but that's the way it is, because you look at this one, and it's got that angle cut there, so, like, there's, it goes to nothing, there's no flange there, so I guess that's why they rust out, because it's just like three panels not pinned, they just sort of sit there vibrating, which is be why there's rust right there, so, that's fine. <sighs> So, that's it. That's it for tonight. I'm going home. I'm hungry. I'm a back sore. I'm going to go home and play some rust, probably. No doubt get fucking wrecked, wrecked by some fucking 12s. Anywho, we'll catch you in the morning. Has it been some time since that last clip you've seen of me playing with the F100? It's been legitimately at least two months. Holy, you know, I've just been fucking flat out. Um, yeah, so we're going to be back working on it because, well, I've got to finish the vid off. Um, and, like, I want to get it fucking finished. <laughs> so there's still a big pile of shit over there. There's still a big pile of shit there. It's getting less shittier though. And then there's another length of shit there that I've got to put all into one semi copacetic F100 cut. So that's fine. I'm just looking over it and trying to remember what I was doing and where I was at. As you can see, the boys are sort of overrun my workspace here. None of that's mine. Uh, my welding bag's still there. My finger sander is supposed to be on that box and it's not, so I've got to go find that. They've set up like a bit of an impromptu weight bench. Someone's hung this fucking chain block in my road and I'm afraid of heights, so I don't do ladders. It's just fucking shit everywhere. So I've got to try and find all my shit now so I can get back into it. And that's going to a fella in Brisbane uh, for his F20. Pulled that there a while ago. He's been trying to organise shipping, but um, I'm probably just going to fucking take it to him because I'm going to be up that way for work, so I'll just take it on the work truck. But, so probably last time you've seen... Yeah, it was, because while I was editing the video, it was last time. So, last time you've seen, we didn't have that section of firewall in. So, well, now it's in. Classic fucking Chris standard of, you know, doing work and not filming it. Um... Yeah, so I had to very delicately pick what was left of the original panel here off of that. Like, look at the spot welds that are in this. There's three rows of spot welds that wide to try and get it to conform to that 
shape. That wasn't my idea, that was Ford. Um, while it was out, I, pa I repaired this top section here. That was gone. I um, also had to repair the top lip here on that panel because underneath it was a bit pickled. So I just cut it out and welded a new piece in. Um, so now we've got to do, oh, and I put a piece in that corner because it was a bit shit too. So now I've got to do the top of the gearbox tunnel before I can start piecing that back together and putting it in. Um, the good news is there's a fella on eBay. I think it's F100 zone or something. He's got a whole bunch of um, parts for F trucks, which is good because I need a throttle cable for this, which I've already bought because the guys moved the cab without asking me. And the throttle cable's still in the cabin and they drove over it with a forklift and ripped it out of the fucking firewall, so that was great. Um, but he conveniently has full driver and passenger side um, floor pan replacements. They're $170 each, but it's gonna save me so much fucking time and it's just gonna come out better. Like it comes all the way down to this lip, so that's gonna get rid of all this shit here. Um, it comes up to here, all the way up to there, and then down this seam, I believe, from the photos anyway. That gets rid of all of this fucking mess because I was that was the next thing I was gonna have to start dealing with was that bit. Um, so yeah, I've ordered them, so I've got two two replacement, I think he gets them from LMC truck in the States, but um, the shipping out of the States is ridiculous, so he must just buy it for like a fuckload of them. Um, so, yeah, and LMC truck in the States do a lot of stuff for Fords and square body Chevys and that, and everyone says their panels fit really well and are excellent fucking quality, so I'm just gonna pay the money. The owner of the truck's already given me money in case I need to buy shit. He's given me like 1400 bucks or something in case I needed to buy stuff. Um, because it's going to be for his daughter now, I think. <laughs> um, so he wants it to be a good cab, so I'll just replace those sections of floor pan. But we've still got a bit to go. Fucking still got a bit to go. I've got today to work on it, then I've got to go up for the rest of this week, um, up Tamworth Way, so I've got today to work on it, and then the tail end next week. But you can see... I've already blended all the spot welds out there and all along the base there. Oh, Jesus Christ, there was shit everywhere in here. And then I actually sectioned it right where that flange is, where the spot welds is. I cut it right in the middle and then I welded that, seamed that, and then flapped it off so it's all flat. You can't even know it's been put in. Um, so it came out really good. I'm super happy with that. I'm gonna have to, I don't know, move some shit out of the way so I can actually do a bit of work on this thing after I find all my tools again. So yeah, I'm gonna tackle, actually we've got a brand new brake press in the shop which is gonna be fucking amazing to finish this off, but I'm gonna tackle the repair for the top of the gearbox tunnel, get that done and in, and then start pulling that apart to fix it. So I've gotta make two out of one basically, so this section here I've obviously gotta rebuild. Um, there was another, oh yep, the, the wiper mount there is rusted out, but it's good in the other one. Um, yeah, so I've got to go, go through, I've got to drill all the spot welds and that and separate it, and I'll just put it together the way Ford did it. So, put the bottom panel in, flash that, flap it off, and put the outer panel on. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to do a gearbox tunnel first, because I'm waffling on now. This video is going to end up fucking 45 minutes long if I don't fucking shut up and start doing something. Right, oh, let's make it happen. Okay, we got that panel in. Um, I just sort of roughed out the plan up, sort of see how it was going, so we'll put that piece in there. And you can see there's still a bit of weld I've got to buff off, but I might leave a bit on that because that's underneath the insul like firewall insulation and leave a bit of meat on it and I'll clean the underside up. But, uh, that's <coughs> pretty good. That's got that sort of degree angle on it. I've got to still weld there and then I've got to plug the corner together there. I might leave that until I'm doing the panel. I wanted that to actually be that height. Um, 
I'm not sure what happened there. It's like five mil low, and then it's about five mil low here too. So I probably I went 25 be 30. So I probably should have gone 25 be 35 and give me a bit of extra meat. But whatever the lap joint for the um, that windscreen wiper dash panel goes like all the way down to this radius. So that's fully covered anyway. So it doesn't matter if that's a wee bit short. You're never going to fucking see it anyway. So but it's coming up pretty good. But I'm. I just had a, another job come in, so I'll be leaving this for now, and then I'm going away tomorrow for the rest of the week. So we're going to shut this vidya down because it's been going sitting on my laptop for nearly two months now, um, partially done. So we'll end her off here. Next time, hopefully, we'll have the cab done and it'll be ready for blast and paint, which I ain't doing. <laughs> we'll blast it. Uh, the owner can organise paint. So, you guys, have a good one. It's been a while since the last video, so I'll catch you on the next one round. Hopefully, life calms down a bit and they'll be a bit more consistent. Maybe. We'll see. Right up. I'm out.